On the football field, senior captain Frank Williams made headlines by helping Bates win four straight CBB series titles. Off the football field, the psychology major has been researching an issue that makes headlines all too often. So me and Professor Sargent, um, we were just talking about like what's relevant in news right now, like what, what do I want to address? And I wanted to look at like a, uh, like a racial tone, like a racial aspect to this thesis. What was relevant in news was um, like you know, wrongfully shot black people by police officers. And I was like, what's a way that I can look at that? Williams used a first person simulation like a video game to test his hypothesis that a feeling of great personal power causes racial bias among shooters, something his research confirmed. He presented his findings at the Mount David Summit, Bates' annual showcase of student academic achievement. Williams hopes an increase in awareness of subconscious racial bias will help improve police training in cities throughout the country. Senior Reed Mashar is a double major in biochemistry and sociology from Virginia, who is also a catcher on the Bates baseball team. He took his research on familial hypercholesterolemia, an inherited condition common among Lewiston's French Canadian families that causes high cholesterol, into the local community. I've actually gone down to the local Franco Center, had lunch with a lot of uh, French Canadians, Franco Americans who have this condition, learn about their experiences with it, learn about their family history of heart disease, and um, it's, it's coming together nicely for the SOCH thesis. Although his topic could not be more different from Williams, Mashar has a similar goal, creating an environment where people are more aware of issues that in some cases are literally a matter of life and death. The general lack of awareness, the, the underdiagnosis rate of FH is the most surprising piece. Um, there's one stat that here that says that um, almost 20 percent of individuals have heart attacks before they're even diagnosed with FH. So the more we can bring that number into a, a better range, that, that would be uh, ideal. Senior Amelia Wilhelm from North Carolina rose for the defending NCAA champion Bobcats. She is studying RNA degradation and a causative agent of Lyme disease. This is her second time presenting at Mount David, and she knows that research does not always go as planned. I've definitely seen a result that is different than what I've expected. Um, so that's kind of the adjustment and the you have to look for alternate explanations for why your results aren't exactly matching what you would expect them to be. Um, so it's maybe the creative thinking process of finding, um, finding out how to actually explain the results that you're getting. 30 student athletes presented research posters and another 23 participated in panel discussions at this year's summit. When it comes to excelling in both academics and sports, time management is key. But as Mashar points out, lessons learned on the field apply to research as well. Hard work and dedication. That, I mean, it works for baseball and, and certainly for this thesis too. Just gotta, some days there's frustrating, strike out a couple of times for baseball, um, find a, a data point that might not be uh, significant. So it all, it all relates.